I would usually start with separate pieces. So this would be like the dynamesh route. Um, so building like the cranial shape there, which is kind of like an egg shape. It's almost almost spherical from the front and then from the side, it's, it's more elongated and stretched out and kind of identified in the drawing here where the, peak, the peaks of the curves. So it's kind of what I was going over earlier uh, today. So if this is just one curve here and the peak is somewhere back here. So when you see somebody from the front and you see all this information above the hairline, you're actually seeing quite a bit into the depth of the head, usually seen somewhere back here. It's a little bit different on everybody, but like the very top of the head is usually somewhere back in space from it here. Um, so this is kind of like a, a simplified skull shape. So in ZBrush, you can go to imagine that it's like an elongated sphere. Um, so basically the three forms of so the cranial shape, a muzzle is what I call it. So it kind of flows into this uh, cranial shape and sits below obviously. And then it can define the chin uh, with the shape as well. I kind of usually keep it fairly curvy, like I'm working off the sphere. So this angle is probably a bit too, too harsh. But So I'll throw in like one sphere here, start with another sphere here that I add shape that around a little bit and then either a sphere or a cylinder throwing that in for the neck so like i said from the front it's kind of um a sphere shape it's a little bit more tapered on the sides but from the side really i want to get that more of an egg and again with a peak back here somewhere so So I just want to start to get that muzzle shape in there. I'm going to turn down my model opacity. Um, using my move brush as big as I can make it so I keep things from getting too wobbly. I'm just going to push these forms around a bit. Um, if this starts happening or you start losing your image plane, you just hit the image plane button again. A little refresh. I'm just trying to define this face shape a little bit. So like I call it the muzzle, but it really encompasses the whole face. And I'm adjusting this based on how it's intersecting that sphere above it. So now I got to fix that because it looks <laughs> horrible from the side. And I want to keep it simple. Like I don't want to get all those secondary forms in there yet. Like I don't want to get ahead of myself. Okay, so they're all separate subtools. Go to the left view. Okay, I'm just gonna move that up until it's right around the middle of the head. And draw this out and rotate that back somewhere in line with uh, what the, the neck is doing. Um, I gotta make sure I turn on symmetry. Start to scale that in. See now my scale is at the wrong point, so I gotta reposition re it. Um, so I'm using move with uh, using the end there to um, it's kind of a non-uniform scale. And I mean, that's good enough for a basic blocking. 